Let's take a look at some of the different zooming options which are available in Cubase. The most common method for zooming is to use the G and H keys to zoom horizontally. So H would allow us to zoom horizontally in. To zoom out horizontally, hold down the G key. If you wanted to zoom vertically, hold down Shift plus H to zoom in vertically or Shift plus G. Many people may want to use the scroll wheel on their mouse to zoom. If you hold down Command on Mac or Control on PC, we can zoom just by using your mouse scroll wheel. One method that's very handy in Cubase is to be able to zoom from the timeline. So as I move the cursor to the master timeline at the top, we see it turn into a compass and this would allow me to hold the left mouse button down and move the cursor up or down and also to navigate to different parts of the project. Sometimes people can be confused when working with cycle markers because it could turn into a compass or if you move it slightly up it could turn into a hand. So if it turns into a hand that enables the cycle to be turned on and off but slightly below allows us when it turns to a compass to zoom. If your project has hundreds and hundreds of tracks you could also have ruler tracks within your project where we could do our zooming in the same manner. There's a dedicated zoom tool as well which can be accessed from the toolbox here or by right clicking there or hitting the number six. This would allow me to select areas that I wanted to see in particular. So if I wanted to zoom in just on those particular areas or to zoom right there or just on that section. So even though I've gone a couple of different levels of zooming with the zoom tool, if you double click in a blank area, you could go right back to your previous zoom states. Now you may want to zoom both vertically and horizontally at the same time and this could be achieved by activating a preference. So under editing select tools and then you could uncheck the bottom preference where the zoom tool only the standard mode is only for horizontal. So now as I zoom we can zoom both vertically and horizontally at the same time and again double click to go right back to where you were and again if we go to preferences under editing tools you'll see that option available there now there's some handy keyboard shortcuts which can also be used to speed up your workflow so if i want to see my entire project we can hit shift plus f and then the whole project will be available. If I wanted to see just one little portion and really kind of highlight that, I could hit Alt or Option plus S. And then we could just go directly back to that one particular event so that we could see that and highlight that area in great detail. And again, to just navigate to our previous zoom state, we could just double click and in blank space. You can also set up your own key command if you wanted to undo zoom. So if you go under to zoom, you could have undo and redo zoom where you could generate your own key command to do that. Now the zoom state also carries directly over when dealing with our lower zone editor. So if I wanted to come here, I could have my drums and we could see that these will be kind of have independent zooms. But if I wanted those to be linked, I could click on this icon here. And as I zoom on one of the windows, both my MIDI editor and my project editor will be in sync that easily. Now we can also see different zoom options available here in the, in the lower corners. So if I wanted to zoom Horizontally, I could grab that slider there, or vertically, I could grab the slider directly there. But to the left of the horizontal slider, we see this little drop down menu. 
And here we could actually see different options. So if I wanted to zoom full, or if I wanted to see only between the left and right locators, I could zoom to that. And this project, I also have different cycle markers for different positions of song, such as verse one, chorus one, guitar solo. So if I wanted to zoom based on the cycle markers that have been defined in a project, so now I can say I only wanna go and see the guitar solo, or I just wanted to see chorus three, you can just choose different parts of your project to actually navigate and zoom to. If you have a particular zoom setting that you want to recall, let's say if I just want to see this as my zoom setting, I could also organize this and add it as a preset. So I'll just add it as preset one. And then if I wanted to zoom full, or if I just wanted to go to my defined preset within my project, we can instantly jump back. Now track heights can also be adjusted quite easily as well. So if I wanted to really highlight a particular track, I can make one track larger or smaller just by doing this. So I could really make like my vocal track larger, but if I wanted all my tracks to be the same height, I could hold down a control or command key and this way I could adjust and have a uniform height for all of my particular tracks. Now sometimes when we're editing, we may want to have the selected track become enlarged. And this could be activated by going to your edit menu and then choosing enlarge selected track. So I'm gonna select this track, I'm gonna make it bigger here, and now as I navigate, and select different tracks, that track will immediately just become larger so that I can actually edit a little more effectively on that particular track. And if you don't want that function to be enabled, just again, disable that from the edit menu. Now sometimes we may be working with audio files that have very low levels of amplitude. So let's say there's audio in there and it's maybe just background, but it's still pertinent, but I can't really edit the waveform because I don't really see a lot. So this slider in the upper right hand corner will allow us to zoom just the amplitude. It's not gonna make it louder, but allows us to kind of zoom the amplitude of the waveform so that we can do editing on low level amplitude material very easily. So as you can see, there's a number of great options for really dialing in and doing quick editing with effective zooming in Cubase. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.